Hey everybody, welcome into our first IU men's soccer preview show of the year. I'm Mary-Kate Hamilton alongside Sam Niederman. And Sam, a lot of changes for this Indiana squad this year. Last year they had nine returning starters, this year only one. If you look at that on paper, it might seem like this is a year of rebuilding for the Hoosiers, but they don't seem to think so. What are your takes on that? Oh, Mary-Kate, the mentality for this Indiana squad is to reload, not rebuild. And you look at the 10 starters they have to replace. A lot of seniors that went off to graduation, not to mention some MLS talent with Griffin Dorsey, Reese Buckmaster, Trey Muse, and of course Justin Rennix as well. So this team gets a lot younger, not as much experience on the side, but still just as much talent. You look at two top quality freshmen that come into the fold. Josh Penn, a top 15 recruit nationally from Naperville, Illinois, using that Chicago pipeline to bring him in. And then you have Aiden Morris, a Fort Lauderdale kid that was developed in the Columbus Crew Academy, another top 60 recruit. These guys could be immediate impact players at the top of Todd Yagley's lineup. Absolutely, and even those players that didn't start last year, they may have come off the bench. Players like Spencer Glass, players like AJ Palazzolo, those players are going to have a huge impact, and they're going to serve as the leaders on this team with so, so many fresh faces. Oh, absolutely. You look at Spencer Glass. This is a guy that stepped up last season, came off the bench, was crucial in late-game situations, and we even got a little bit of a sampling of what he could do at left back when Andrew Gutman was out for one game with an injury. This guy is going to be the core of the team on that back line. His left foot is one of the best in the country. His service is outstanding, very composed, and he has pace moving up that left flank. He'll be a replica of Andrew Gutman, and his kind of leadership, along with guys like Sean Caulfield and Goal, will try and keep this team together throughout the course of the fall. And with so many new faces, Coach Todd Yeagley has had a couple of chances to kind of figure out what he wants to do in the lineup. They had that spring season, which he said was incredibly helpful, and they also had those preseason games. And so we caught up with him about what he thinks is going to happen when he starts to really find that groove in the starting 11. I think we're able to um, identify the 14, 15 that we expect to see minutes this weekend. That could change next weekend. Um, I think we've solved some positional um, battles. That's positive. So I think positionally, we're, we're getting some things solved. Um, the scenarios in the games and the experience level that we had last couple of years, we were not there, um, and nor do we expect to be there. So I'm, I'm happy on one end, but certainly know we have a lot to work to do. Now, of course, one of those players that I think we can safely see we're going to see in the starting 11 every single week is, of course, sophomore Jack Mayer. He was just named to the Mac Herman Trophy watch list, the only sophomore on the list, and he's going to be incredible this season. Yeah, sky's the limit for this kid in Mayer. 2018 Big Ten Freshman of the Year, 15th in Indiana program history, and he's grown throughout the offseason. He's taken on a veteran role after a year starting experience under his belt. He'll be one of the three captains for this Indiana side, and he'll be the glue at center back for a new back line of four. Absolutely, and communication is so important on that back line, and that's something that he does so well. And of course, there are extremely high expectations for him this season, but he says he doesn't let those expectations get to his head. That's something that I heard about. It's not something that I give much focus to. It's a great honor, and it's something that I take and I'm very ex extremely proud of and the work that the coaching staff has had with me and how they have developed me to become the player I am. I think a lot of it goes back to the group of guys that we had. Incredible campaign for the Hoosiers last season. Of course, Jack Mayer played a huge part in that in replacing Grant Lillard's role from the year before, but it didn't necessarily end the way they wanted it to. What do you have to say about that, Sam? You know, it was a great run for this Indiana team last year that looked unstoppable at times. The double champions in the Big Ten with ease, and then they rode all the way to their 20th College Cup appearance in Santa Barbara, only to run into a buzzsaw in Maryland. And it's really hard to beat a team three times in a season. Maryland came close in the first two matches between the two sides, and of course they got the better of the Hoosiers when it really mattered and went on to win a national championship. Well deserved for them. But it's something that's been in the back of these Indiana players' heads, and it's definitely a source of motivation for 2019. Absolutely. You could say that Maryland had a chip on their shoulders going into that third game, and now Indiana has a chip on their shoulders. Our Jordan Goulds caught up with them about how much they think about the end of last season. Then can we pop in on the second touch? So close, yet so far. For those returning from last year's team, the pain still hurts from that loss in Santa Barbara. Yeah, I've been ready since Maryland, so it's been, it's been a long wait. It was bittersweet in Santa Barbara, but I mean, I've been 
preparing and think about this for a long time. It's something that it's always in the back of your mind. Losing that feeling that against Maryland of two set pieces and Santa Barbara, it's something that I will never forget as a soccer player. Now it's time for the Hoosiers to regroup and turn the page to this season. I always say we always challenge our group. This one with so many new players. Um, I don't think it's out of reach the challenge, but I do feel that it's going to push them farther than they have been. It's just going to take time. If I were to say that we would come in two, three weeks of preseason and we're able to connect on all cylinders like the team we had before us, that, that's hard to imagine. But <laughs> with that being said, we still expect to win every single game. Despite only having one returning starter coming back on this roster, the expectations remain high for Indiana as they're looking to get back to somewhere they've been the past two seasons, the College Cup. Well, the preseason rankings, you know, are really just a reflection of the program of last year. I was very honest with them. I said, guys, you haven't done anything. You know, I don't care if we got a returning team or we lost a lot of guys. You haven't done anything. And it's just simple. It's a nice reflection. So it's a flattering. We like it. But it's amazing. Indiana opens up match play this weekend in the Adidas IU Credit Union Classic. From Bill Armstrong Stadium, I'm Jordan Gould. Indiana men's soccer looks to start to build their momentum this weekend. Sam, who do you think is going to be one of those breakout players this season for the Indiana Hoosiers? Well, you know, Mary-Kate, I got to go with one of the local kids. How about Thomas War from Zionsville, Indiana? Boone County kid, he's a junior. And Indiana needs him to produce at the top of their attack. You look at the players they lost from a dynamic offense a year ago. Justin Rennicks, gone to the MLS. Griffin Dorsey, also gone to the MLS as a first-round draft selection. Big shoes to fill for Thomas War, who flashed some potential as a freshman, had a bench role last year as a sophomore, but coming off an excellent preseason. He's my pick to click for this Indiana squad in 2019. What are you thinking for a breakout player? Well, you can't go wrong with Thomas War, excellent pick, but I'm going to go to the opposite, and I'm going to go with goalkeeper Sean Caulfield. He is a redshirt senior. He's been waiting his turn for five years now. He's been preparing as if he was a starter for four-plus years. He's one of the team captains, and he just has so much composure out on the field, and I think he's going to be a great leader for this Indiana team. A lot of communication coming from him, and I think he's ready for the challenge of stepping up, taking Trey Muse's place, and really making a name for himself. So I think he's a name that we are going to hear all year long. Yeah, he's got big shoes to fill. He's paid his dues, and if you want to win matches in the Big Ten, you got to have a good goalkeeper. Indiana takes on Pittsburgh tonight at 8 p.m. at Jerry Yagley Field, but if you can't make it out this weekend, we're going to be covering the team all weekend long on BTN+. Plus. Sam and I are also going to have a weekly update on the squad this year. Make sure to follow us on YouTube at IU Sports Media. For Sam, I'm Mary-Kate Hamilton. Have a great Labor Day weekend.